Vivo as a smartphone brand largely always focuses on one thing, camera performance. And with their new V20 smartphone, it's more of the same, making sure you get the best picture possible. But is that all that it has to offer? Or does it give you more? At its starting price of 24,990 rupees. Hey guys, I'm Soham, you're watching the EJ Tech Show. And this is the question we're going to attempt to answer with our review of the Vivo V20. So let's start off with the basic essentials on any smartphone, the display, the battery and the operating system. The V20 sports a 6.44 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with a 408 ppi resolution and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. It's just about bright enough to be comfortable when using in direct sunlight and the colours are extremely vivid even on the standard setting. There's a U-shaped notch which is surprising considering the previous V19 had a pill-shaped cutout for the selfie cameras but personally, I prefer this style of screen obstruction. There's a reliable in-display fingerprint scanner and bezels are quite slim, but the bottom chin is more pronounced than I'd like. There's no high refresh rate here, no 90Hz or 120Hz, but that's more to do with how Vivo is marketing this phone and what consumer it's targeting, but that's something I'll get to later on in this review. For now, let's talk about the battery life. There's a 4000 mAh battery unit, which isn't the largest we've seen on a smartphone, but it's respectable enough and delivers at least a day's battery life with moderate usage, even with the always-on display enabled. The battery supports 33 watt fast charging, and that gets this phone from zero to full in almost exactly an hour. If you're concerned about a quick top-up, don't be. 50% takes just 30 minutes, and 45 minutes of charging will get you just over 80%. Now one of the most important parts of any smartphone is the operating system and the user interface and on both those counts, the V20 is pretty solid. It runs Android 11 out of the box with all of its new features and design elements but with Vivo's FunTouch OS 11 on top. It's far better than previous iterations of the UI and certainly feels a lot cleaner with barely any bloatware present. Vivo's multi-turbo performance mode for the ultra game mode makes gaming enjoyable as well with handy shortcuts for blocking incoming calls and notifications. So that about covers the basics. Now let's deep dive into what the V20 is all about, starting with the design. Now when it comes to design, I think the V20 is one of the best looking smartphones out there, especially in the sunset melody colour we've got. The colours it throws off in different lighting are really very pretty to look at and at 7.48mm, it's one of the slimmest smartphones available to buy in India right now. It feels great in the hand and not too heavy despite the glass back, weighing in at 172 grams for this colour variant. Fun fact, this colour variant on the V20 is 1 gram heavier and 10mm thicker than the other colour options. Anyway, Despite this ultra-slim design, Vivo has managed to find space for a 3.5mm audio jack, which is something of a unicorn in 2020. Overall, this smartphone looks way more expensive than it actually is, and looks quite similar to the X50 flagship series from Vivo, especially at that rear camera module. Now, speaking of the rear camera module, let's talk about the cameras. It's a triple sensor system with a primary 64 megapixel AF sensor, an 8 megapixel AF sensor for ultra wide macro and bokeh, and a 2 megapixel mono sensor. Now, AF here stands for autofocus because that's one of the strongest capabilities of the Vivo V20. In fact, it has eye autofocus, it has body autofocus, and it has object autofocus, which essentially means it's very hard to get a blurry picture or video with this camera unit. The iAF system is actually quite advanced and even lets you choose what eye you want the camera to focus on. There's also super night mode, tripod night mode and super wide angle night mode, all which help you get a good shot in low light conditions. Pictures taken in daylight are quite impressive. There's a good amount of detail on offer and colors are punchy enough with the 64 megapixel primary sensor giving a good depth of field even without the portrait mode. There's not a whole lot of distortion with the super wide angle sensor and the super macro mode lets you get real up and close with objects. The real star of the show however is the front facing 44 megapixel selfie camera. The 44 megapixel sensor captures a huge amount of detail and with the same autofocus capabilities as the rear camera keeps everything nice and sharp. 
It also supports 4K resolution for videos, slow-mo selfie mode, steady face selfie video and more. But the best feature in my opinion is what Vivo calls the Super Night Selfie 2.0 with Aura screen lighting. What this basically does is turn your phone screen into a soft white light that lights up your face in the dark for low light pictures. It works really well even in pitch black darkness. Now that we've got all the main points out of the way, let's talk about the other features like the processor and the overall day-to-day -day performance. The V20 packs in a Snapdragon 720G chip, which is an upgrade over the 712 chip used on the V19. There's 8GB RAM as standard and up to 256GB expandable storage. Day-to-day -day performance with this hardware is good, no real complaints. Even gaming performance is great with no frame drops, lag or heating issues in our testing. But why am I mentioning these features as others? Well, it's because I think Vivo with the V series is focusing mostly on camera performance and the V20 is proof of that. Take a look at its competitors, the Samsung Galaxy M51 and OnePlus Nord, both of which get better chipsets for a similar price point. However, I'd be lying to you if I said that this phone felt underpowered in all my time using it. Could it use a higher refresh rate screen? Perhaps. But does the chipset hold it back? Not at all. I think what Vivo has done with the V20 is really smart. They've positioned themselves in a price range that's witnessing a revival with camera performance as their biggest weapon. And considering the otherwise faultless performance in the other departments, I think the Vivo V20 is one of the best looking daily drivers worth buying today.